Today I get to talk to you guys about technology that's just come out in the tire business. So these are mods that you can purchase for your car. One of them gives you 10% increase range. The other is a tire that you could throw a bunch of nails at and it will still keep on going and it's not run flat technology. So new technology, mods for your car. Let's talk about it. Hey guys and welcome back to another Talking Mods. There are two new tires that have been developed. I consider them a modification for your car and that's what we're all about. Uh, I'm the CEO of Mod Bargains. We're all about car modifications and how to improve our cars and get it better. So new technology is my favorite thing. If you have noticed that when I talk about certain things is I just love to hear about engineering, technology, what's coming out, the future, and where does it take us and what, is, what are the benefits, right? So as I said in the intro, uh, two new tire technologies came out in Mod Bargains channel. So again, I, I run, I'm the CEO of Mod Bargains, but in the Mod Bargains channel, I do more in-depth kind of videos. So over there, I got to visit Michelin. I got to do a one-on-one -on -one talk with some engineers. I did a PS4S video and, a, and we did a Super Sport video. So if you want to look at the PS4S video, we'll put links uh, down below. You can watch it or with the engineers to get the real go in-depth with it. Now in this, I'm not going in depth because I haven't, during this pandemic, I haven't had a chance to visit with any engineers or Michelin. But if you guys are interested in more uh, in depth reviews and going into it, then I am happy to do so, but I'll need you guys to put comments below to see your interest level. So on the first one, I'm actually, it's about Michelin. And um, Michelin, if you don't know, is probably the top tier in terms of technology making advancements um in tire and rubber and all of that right so one thing with the ps4s was very innovative is that they had a dual compound and if you want to watch that there's a video again with multi compounds so on this side this is the dry side right i'm not going to go into that but it's phenomenal stopping power in the wet things that you shouldn't be able to have you basically get the best of everything and i'm actually running the ps4s on my own vehicle now this tire that I'm going to talk about is their new Pilot Sport EV and I definitely want it and you'll see why. And the first thing is it extends the range by what they said 60 kilometers based off their test. We provide an additional range of 60 kilometers by using the green power compound and slim belt technologies. So for a full vehicle it's 60 kilometers. I wrote down the information. So we're talking about a 10% increase. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I have a gas vehicle, why does this apply to me? I think it would apply to you, even if you have a gas vehicle, right? Because I've seen Priuses put on eco energy type tires, stuff to increase their range as well. So if you can increase 10%, that's a huge amount of savings. And I think there's a lot of people who are into modifying their Teslas or whatever vehicle you have to increase that range, right? And that's been a big, big car modifying uh, sequence. Well, this is going to be the biggest percentage I've seen in any of them. Now their testing was done on a 255-4519 versus a PS4S. Now they didn't put it down with a, you know, a no-name brand. They didn't put it with a cheap brand. They went with their best brand. So that gives you some perspective here. Now uh, one way that they did it is obviously also they got the tire to be a lot lighter. So I did the calculations. It was 14.7 uh, pounds versus 19.4 pounds. Uh, I'm looking down because I wrote it down. Now the vehicle, they wouldn't say what vehicle, but I figured it out. It's a 4,742 pounds. I'm going to guess it's with passengers inside. And it had a 335 mile range for the vehicle. So they got additional 60. What vehicle am I talking about? I think, and you guys can do your own research, but if you put those numbers together, that was probably a Tesla Model Y. So it doesn't really matter if you have a Model S, a Model X, whatever vehicle you have, 60 uh, increase in range and a you know a 10% increase that's phenomenal so that's the first one so are they sacrificing anything No. obviously you're not gonna get the performance of the 4s in terms of the grip but it didn't sound like it because they used technology that they've been working with Formula E and if you know Michelin they work directly with all the race teams they send people out to the race teams I got to attend it I'm going in this beautiful Porsche right now um, up at Sabring with them 
and they the technology is called electric grip technology. So what they did is they basically stiffen the the center area, but so to, and they changed the way the compound reacts because especially EV vehicles have a, a high amount of torque. That's all it takes for this Tesla to reach. Right, so you don't want to burn those tires. If you've ever, um, you know, you you spin those tires or you see like, you can see chunks sometimes come out, especially if it's a soft compound. Yes, you want grip, but if you have a high torque vehicle, sometimes that hurts you. So they increased the stiffness, put all the grip around that stiffness in the center, and then did all their sidewall technology. Basically, you got insane amount of grip and able to handle the torque. Now, one more factor in here, so you're getting all this performance, lighter weight wheel, and as you guys know, there was a big um, outcry. I don't know if you guys know, but it's the Model 3. The Model 3 is a very loud vehicle in the cabin, right? It was it had no sound deadening compared to like the Model S or the Model X. They try to keep the cost down. Yeah, it, they did that and they got a lot of complaints. So what Tesla did was, well, they can't couldn't change their manufacturing, so they went to the tire manufacturers and said, hey, uh, how about we work together and come up with a way to decrease the road noise. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. And the way that they did that was they added foam. And you see that with the Continental tires that come with the car now. Um, and they basically just added a foam padding on the inside. When I first saw it, I thought it was like, I was like, what the heck is this? But it works. And um, it's not, doesn't make any differences, doesn't add that much more weight, and it does work and it reduces sound. So Michelin added their own, they came up with their own compound, it's a polyurethane compound, it's again another foam, um, and they have, based off testing, 20% less road noise, so it's even quieter. I mean, this is just hitting so many points that I think this is just a very, very interesting tire. Hopefully I can get one of these, put it on my own vehicle, and give you guys a review. That will probably be a Mod Bargains review because it's just coming out now. Um, where you can purchase it. Obviously, you can purchase it with us at Mod Bargains. Give us a call. We'd be happy to, you know, set up an order for you if you just want the tires, or if you want wheels and tires, which is really our forte, we'd be happy to do that. Now, another technology, again, this is another tire technology. This technology is very interesting to me because I recognized it back in 2012 um, at SEMA, and this was a company that no longer exists. Maybe they got bought out. I don't know because they're not saying it in this information. But there was a company called Tire Guardian. It was an Australian-based company, um, and it really impressed me. So every SEMA I look around, and I'm always trying to see what new technology, what pushes the envelope, what new products we can show you guys and offer on our website that I think is quality. And what was crazy about this technology is um, the person was the person demonstrating would just take these nails and just keep on shoving them into this tire. And I'm talking about like 30, 40 nails and it is just not deflating. And so what it is, and Hankook has now developed it, they call it, I don't know if they've developed it or purchased it, but now it comes on some of their tires. It's called the Seal Guard. So if you're looking at a Hankook tire, which Hankook is, I consider, a very good value tire, except prices have definitely gone up. I did a tire video about how tire prices have gone up. Now, the Seal Guard is a sludge that goes inside the tire and it adds not substantial amount of weight, maybe about a pound. So I wouldn't take it as, oh, I'm gonna gain that much more weight. So why is that little pound maybe important, right? Again, this is just the engineering and the benefit. This is rotational weight versus static weight. And if you don't know about that, I could go more into it, but rotational weight basically could equal about 10 pounds off a static weight. So four tires, we're talking about 40 pounds on, uh, difference here on a car. Uh, in terms of performance, right? That's why less weight is so critical. And that's why the wheels that you get are so critical as well. And that's why we always recommend contact us because we'll help you out on the wheels and the tires. We'll get the right combination. You can make a huge performance difference. The The modification difference there is just, it, it's it's just basic engineering and it's it really does help the vehicle. But anyway, it doesn't add that much. Now, what's crazy about this is you know, you've now got a technology here that I've always thought run flat was just this terrible technology. I still think it is. I disagree. I disagree, Gary. Uh, my wife is gonna disagree with me. She loves it because she just wants to continue to drive while it's losing air. But I understand it. I understand the people who where, where run flat works, but this really does work. 
and you don't get all the all the detractions of run flats where you basically have now you know less grip way heavier tire uh, tires on the car um, and they're extremely expensive i mean we're talking about a 400 dollars tire versus a 200 dollars tire so i think kudos to um, hankook for integrating this into their tires it's called the seal guard so hankook has released that i think this is exciting stuff um, finally, I finally invent something that works. I mean, this is not the newest, this newest technology, but it's finally being brought here um, across, and I think it's being adopted. So, uh, really cool stuff. Uh, I will try to do more of these kind of technology um, type of videos. I do love them. And guys, uh, please uh, hit the notification and the subscribe button if you haven't done so. It helps this whole algorithm, and it helps us all out. And we are trying to grow the channel. And I, if you have comments, other technology you guys want me to cover, I do read the comments, I do try to respond, and I appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next Talking Mods.